Hi there, it's Ferdinand from Cube. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to use an IP CCTV tester. All right. Now this is an HT CCTV tester. Um, it does test for H265, which is the latest compression. So any tester that you buy, just have to make sure that's an H265. Um, and it's 4K, so which is not bad. Let's open this one. Uh, it comes with a handy bag. There we go. Right, we've got a manual, a tiny manual. It's quite hard to read. Right, let's see what we have. We've got a power supply, um, a power interface for the UK power chargers. Um, that's for RJ45 to test Cat5 cables. Uh, that's the actual tester, which is quite small. Um, the good thing about these, it's quite easy to carry. So you've got BNC testers here, um, and you also have the normal PTZ analog controls, LED light, and an SD card. Then you've got an audio in, and a DC 12 volt, uh, which is the charger. Right, it's got a DC um, 12 volt output with three amp, which is not bad. Normally you get one amp output, and this one actually got three amp output, which is a, which is a good feature. And then you've got a LAN, um, that's where you can just connect the IP camera and check. Uh, you've got a UTP scan, which is probably, um, that's something that you use it with this one to check any RJ45 cables. And let's see what we have here. Got a small back here, um, comes with a wristband. Providing the size of this, um, it's easy to wear um, as a wrist portable one using the wristband. You've got their DC lead, pizza, and, uh, and a standard sort of BNC or Quax cable. So it tests the analog and IP cameras. So which is a good one and it also tests anything up to 4K which is again a good feature. Right, let's see how this is going to work. Right, now we're going to do a small testing. So let's see how this works. So it's got an on and, on and off switch here. So it's, it's already on, uh, but I don't say anything here. So let me press the power button here. So there's a power button. All right, so that's a quite nice display. So you can now see uh, IP tester, um, analog tester, tools, and my app. Uh, I'm going to use IP camera. Uh, this camera is a heat vision camera, as I mentioned before. Um, so Cat5 cable connected to the IP camera. And it can also provide power. Um, but since I'm using a PTZ camera, I don't want to sort of use this power uh, in case if it's not the right one. Uh, I need to check the amperage of the PC uh, PTZ camera. So if it's a normal camera, it's got 3 amp, so that's more than enough. And I've got this um, two RJ45 um, slots. Uh, I should go on LAN here, connect it like that. As soon as I connect, you can see that LED is working now. Uh, let me just do a quick check. I'm going to use IP camera test now. Right. Um, I'm into the main menu now, so I've got four options here. IP camera test, um, so I can test the IP cameras using that. Um, then I've got uh, the CVBS, which is the analog, um, and also HD cameras, so I can test HD cameras. On this test, I can test up to 4K cameras, uh, so which is a quite good uh, feature. Now I've got tools, and I'm not quite sure what is in tools, but you know, I, I believe it's the normal analog options. Yep, you've got the cable tester, uh, your calculators, flashlight, settings, data, monitor, and a quick office. So that's a, that's a new option. So that's, that'll be interesting to know what that is. Um, so let's go back. Uh, so I've got apps, so click on the apps. So these are uh, predefined, uh, sort of a pre-installed app for you. Um, now bear in mind, this is a very new tester. So all the apps are uh, sort of latest app uh, version of it. But then again, if you've got an old tester, you might have to sort of uh, upgrade your uh, apps. So I've got v, VLS, EC, Wheel, that's a like generic ones. Uh, so if anyone's using like um, a Dawa camera, they know about this app, which is called uh, GDMSS um, HD Lite. Uh, that's for the Dawa, SD Lite camera. 
and then um, let me go back um, all right so I got different type of apps here um, so let me just go there go to the next page and I've got it manual here so that's quite handy so if anything if you have any doubts I can click on it uh, and open the manual Let's go back and uh, let me go back to apps sorry I've just been to the app so let me go to camera test uh, the camera test um, I can do an IP scan which is uh, normally known as scan but this one says discovery because it's you know recently the same thing uh, I've got Hikvision here and then Dawa so let me click on Hikvision because I'm using Hikvision camera here just click on it uh, when I click on it, it it picks the camera so I've just connected the camera straight to this tester so there's no router or anything as such just connect the camera straight to the root uh, straight to the tester then you can see the camera there and it's act says activated because it's a camera already activated but if it's a brand new camera you might have to activate it to activate the camera uh, before you start using it and um, so I've defined a password for it so it's all been done but if it's a brand new camera as I mentioned to you before you might have to do that uh, let me play see what happens there we go the camera opens it works nice and it's a PDZ camera let me see whether I can move this camera right okay there we go thank you for watching this video tutorial i hope you enjoyed it we got more video tutorial in our youtube channel so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit the like button